Hello, everyone. Today is Monday, October 15th. It's 3.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock here, the date and the time. And on my right is the time and sales that E-mini S&P currently trading at 27.68.50 or so. Another fantastic day in the auto trader, even though uh, volatility uh, today was not quite as great. The market uh, kind of consolidating a little bit after a couple of really uh, big volatility days. In any case, the auto trader, in spite of the market, and when I speak of the market, I'm usually talking about the U.S. financial indices. The market's going relatively sideways today. The auto trader had really spectacular performance. First up is the DAX on 150 Heiken Ashi tick chart, and this did 51.12.50, and the goal on this is 55.50, so it hit its goal. And so these are the last three trades. And then if we scrunch up the chart, we see that we drew down about $1,200 here. But then after that, it, it didn't have a losing trade uh, since. So there was a couple of losers to start, and then there was a, a quite a large uh, string of winners. It looks like we had about seven winners in a row right here and that brought us back from our drawdown to hit our goal of uh, 5100. All right so this is my market profile chart and you can see this this big volatility here and here and then volatility is basically uh, contracting and what that what that means is there's probably going to be a big move coming from this. So the market is basically uh, forming a, a wedge here, and this is going to break one way or the other. And, and so it, the reason I'm showing this is I wanted to show how the auto trader performed in this, you know, relatively sideways market, but we still have a range of, you know, a low of about uh, 51 to a high of 77. So uh, still about 26 points. That's still... Uh, pretty good amount of volatility, probably equal to the volatility uh, prior to uh, this big sell-off. Anyway, interesting pattern that's developing here in the financial markets, and I would expect uh, some kind of resolution to come from this, uh, either a break to the downside or a, or a break or a test uh, to the upside. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on a 1597 Heiken and Ashi chart. And again, I haven't adjusted the profit goals on these just yet. Uh, this had a goal of 35.50 and a loss limit of 2,000. And so we obviously hit our goal and we only had uh, one losing trade right here. So pretty impressive performance on this chart today. Okay, next up is the DAX on a 233 Heiken and Ashi chart. And this had only two trades here and hit its goal of 22.50, I believe. And it looks like we had positive slippage, 25.50, so just shy of our goal. Just want to note that all of our trades on these charts are, in fact, limit, or limit orders. Okay, impressive performance on the E-mini S&P regular five Renko chart. And this has a higher time frame filter of a Super Renko six tick. And I adjusted the goals on this upward, so the goal in this is 2,050. It used to be 1,050, so with the volatility, I increased it. And looks like we drew down about 250 per contract here, and then came up, had a loser, and then a couple of really strong winners here, here, and, and then these two trades here put us up towards our goal. So 1975 for the day. Okay, the NASDAQ on a 987 Heiken Ashi chart. Looks like it had three trades and did 1620 for the day. Our goal on this is 1000, so uh, extreme positive slippage here. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 2 tick chart with a higher time frame filter of a Superenco 4 tick. This had some impressive looking trades here and is currently... Uh, short, almost the position's almost back to ba break even here, uh, but we have a closed P and L of 800 and an open P and L of just uh, five or six ticks here. 
it's short one contract from this level and it looks like it's probably going to exit this position shortly well just as I was saying that it exited the position as we got the higher time frame filter turned blue and I suppose this could be improved by you know having different trailing stops but there's a reason I don't do this and it's to let these kind of trades run longer in any case uh, it just went long as you can see on the chart we had our higher time frame filter turn green so that means our our Superenco 4 tick has blue bars and then we had blue bars on the lower time frame and then we got filled on our limit order you can see at the bottom of the bar here is where our, f our fill is so we'll see if the market uh, has some short covering and this turns uh, positive okay the Dow on a 1597 Heiken Ashi chart trading only two contracts with a higher time frame filter of a 60 minute chart uh, did 2045 and a really well placed uh, trade here okay uh, our ever consistent DAX on a super Renko 14 tick with the $2,000 goal uh, this has been a chart that we've traded for a, a very long time uh, this obviously hit its goal and have one ticket slippage you can see the split fills in a very familiar pattern we had a loser here drew down about 250 per contract and then came back with these uh, winners back to back a long and a short really well placed trades here so this one hitting its goal and a long time chart that we've been plotting hit its goal again okay next up is the e-mini S&P on a 987 Heiken Ashi chart this looks like it had a total of four trades three winners and one loser the equity high was up here at about uh, $1,800 and settled in at $1,475 our goal on this $2,200 with a loss limit of a thousand so uh, finishing at $1,475 about three quarters of the way to the goal okay next up is the Nasdaq on a 151 Heiken Ashi tick chart and this did uh, 1660 for the day uh, we had uh, a loser here but the rest appeared to be winners so it looks like one loser and four or five winning trades the goal on this is 1500 so we had nice positive slippage on this chart okay the e-mini S&P on a Superenco 4 tick with a Superenco 6 tick higher time frame I'm pretty sure indeed it is this did 1237 for the day our goal on this is 1050 so excellent positive slippage on this run up at around the noon hour okay the crude oil on a Superenco 8 tick has been very consistent for us this is using our line break logic and we set a mixed bag of trades but ultimately hit our goal of I believe a thousand or a thousand fifty the goal on this is a thousand with a loss limit of a thousand also wanted to talk about the uh, the news filter on the auto trader we have uh, added uh, seconds to the news filter so you can effectively trade a news breakout you could have the trade enter like 15 seconds before the uh, trade begins or five seconds and then you could have it stop trading 30 seconds afterwards you probably wouldn't want to do that you would probably want to just set up a, a profit goal but but we can now adjust the uh, news trader by um, seconds making it effectively uh, another strategy within the auto trader the ability to trade news okay the DAX on the super Inc. 14 tick with the $5,500 goal this did 1200 for the day you can see that it traded differently than the other 14 tick chart uh, drew down quite a bit about $2,800 or 1400 per contract but then came back from the dead and finished at plus 1200 okay our second e-mini S&P on a regular five ranker this one's trading only two contracts the first one is trading three contracts and this has a 750 goal so this had pretty strong positive slippage on this chart finishing at 1125 okay pretty wild ride on the e-mini S&P Super Inco 6 tick it looks like it drew down a couple of times the max drawdown was about 250 per contract or 500 
and then it ran up to a equity high of about 1500 here with these couple of really nice uh, swings here and then had a couple of losers drew it back down to plus 400 and then one winner here brought us up to finish at 750 our goal on this one is 2000 okay the crude oil on a superenco 7 tick chart did 550 on a mixed bag of trades here it looks like it drew down about 225 per contract okay the crude oil on the superenco 6 tick did 780 for the day using our line break logic and it's like it drew down here about 200 per contract and then came back to finish at 760. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a super rank of 4 tick, and I believe this has the 2 tick other time frame. Indeed it does. This chart's been pretty consistent. Anyway, this did 775, and the goal on this is 750, so a couple of ticks positive slippage. The crude oil on a precision Renko 8150, again showing a positive return. Looks like we had an equity high of about 1100 and then we settled in at 600. This is using our line break logic. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.